नमस्कार दोस्तों आज फिर आपके साथ जुड़ चुका हूँ हर संडे में आपको कुछ ना कुछ देने की कोशिश करता हूँ आई ऑलवेज ट्राई टू इन्फॉर्म यू समथिंग विच इज न्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ विच टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी थ्री रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सर्कुलर्स विच वर इश्यूड ऑन एट ऑफ जून पोस्ट मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मीटिंग एंड दीज थ्री आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रिटिकल सर्कुलर आफ्टर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टॉन्ग टाइम Uh, why i say this because uh, the nafca and uh, other people like federations and everybody was uh, uh, talking to reserve bank of india to revisit couple of issues and restart the uh, <coughs> branch licensing policy in this regard the reserve bank of india has issued three guidelines three critical and very important guidelines one is about the priority sector and uh, the achievement of targets and the second is about the uh what we call <coughs> uh rationalization of branch authorization uh, uh policy for urban cooperative banks and uh, the framework for compromise settlement and technical write offs of these three uh, i am going to talk today about the only two circulars because the third one requires a lot of uh, understanding of other issues other legal issues and therefore uh, the uh, compromise settlement and technical right of i'll deal uh, next sunday that's uh, promised to you uh, so that i give you uh, a vision in order to <coughs> implement these circulars in your bank first of the two circular which i'm talking uh, about is the uh, rationalization of branch authorization policy of urban cooperative banks many of the urban cooperative bankers could be aware that uh, some 10 12 years ago Reserve Bank of India had uh, evoked the formula of granting uh, license to the extent of ten percent of uh, uh, branches which a bank is having. So, if you are having forty uh, branches, you would be given four licenses. They have uh, standardized certain norms in this. What is the standardization? If you are under financially sound and well managed uh, setup, if your bank is the financially sound and well managed, as per the December twenty-two circular. There is a general permission. If you are complying with the FSWM criteria, I believe roughly around five to six hundred banks would be uh, in the FSWM criteria. They have been granted a straight permission to open ten percent of the bank's licenses within their command area, within the operational area which they are having. Now, if you are having less than ten percent branches, you can open one branch easily without seeking prior approval. it would mean that there is absolute freedom given by reserve bank of india in order to expand and grow within your command area you can open up the catch is you should be fswm and the revision in fswm has has uh, tinkered with couple of norms which were earlier not there for example if you are penalized in the last two years obviously you are out of fswm and obviously if there is a penalty levied on you for any reason you won't be able to get this route which is popularly known as an automatic route you will have to apply to reserve bank of india that the other option they have kept it open other eligible banks they are using the word other eligible banks can uh, go for the prior approval of the reserve bank of india and open branch licenses this is absolutely uh, uh, old wine in a new bottle there was a stop on this and probably uh, that that latch has been opened by reserve bank of india now wherein that you can certainly ensure that uh, the uh, growth story of urban cooperative banks commences this of course has not cleared the uh, <coughs> route for granting the scheduled status to the bank or setting up of new urban cooperative banks but then existing branches existing uh, urban cooperative banks can definitely grow Uh, either uh, through an automatic route or a non-automatic route, and um, that is that is what the idea is. And the focus is on FSWM, and this is applicable to all the tiers, all tier one to tier four, all banks. This is what uh, the situation is. If you are a big bank, and if you are under FSWM, you you have say two hundred branches, you can open twenty branches auto through automatic route. Uh, <clears throat> one of the key conditions is that they have granted exemption. Uh, from this automatic route uh, to certain areas like 
एक्सटेंशन काउंटर्स और जोनल ऑफिसेस कंट्रोलिंग ऑफिसेस और एटीएम नॉट कवर्ड हियर यू हैव टू सीक प्रायर परमिशन फ्रॉम देम एंड देन यू हैव टू सबमिट द इंफॉर्मेशन टू रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया दे प्रिस्क्राइब देयर ओन टाइम लिमिट ऑल्सो विद इन नाइनटी डेज यू विल गेट द क्लियर दैट्स वॉट द स्टोरी इज ऑल अबाउट एटलीस्ट द बिगिनिंग हैज बीन मेड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कुड फर्दर बी इम्प्रूव इन इन द सेंस दैट If the bank is not in F S W, probably because of one of the criteria, and I personally believe that the uh, idea of uh, banks which have been punished or penalized for one of their offences, the jurisprudence says that if you have punishment, it is not necessary to punish you twice. So, this means that for one offence, if you have been penalized, there the offence is relinquished. The offence gets over. So the condition that if there is a penalty two years you will not be getting license is little harsh. That needs to be revisited for the simple reason that penalty to they the bank ne. Unno ne correction bhi karwa liya. Fir bhi unko agar growth se vanchit karna hai, to is shayad there is a need for the Bank of India to reconsider. Of course, the federation federation se NAFCABs would definitely take up this issue because almost three uh, hundred banks in the last two years have been punished. It would mean that out of fourteen hundred banks. 300 banks, even if they are under FSW, they will not be able to apply. Of course, they will not be under FSW provided they have al already been penalized. The rest of the, the guidelines and the set, set circulars are very, very simple and very plain and very uh, easily understandable. But this is what the new beginning for the sector is. This is what I believe. Although the critics of Reserve Bank of India will continue to criticize, and let me tell you, the role of regulator is a very tough one. And is not a popular one. So Reserve Bank will continue to get bouquets as well as big bats from the sector for whatever that has happened. Uh, second important secular is about the priority sector lending, where the targets have been deferred by uh, another two years, that is up to uh, 2026. I consider this as deferment of a death nail for the simple reason that once you enter into a priority sector lending, there is always a bottom line hit because. You cannot grant private sector lending at a better rate, and how do you make your bottom line? Is another story. They have again said that if you have given any deposit to rural infrastructure development or SIDB or some such organization for meeting the shortfall in 2020-2021, that has to be used for shortfall in 2023. There is interesting statement made by the Reserve Bank of India Governor. What is the statement? they would like to incentivize the banks which are achieving the targets i at times wonder that urban cooperative banks are typically in urban area granting loans to the priority sector itself is an uphill task you cannot tweak around the definition but then priority sector achievement is a tough task and suddenly when the economy is growing rapidly uh, in fact india is uh, uh, what do you say a sweet spot in the in the economic world whether there is a need of going ahead with the private sector now a program which started in 1972 when the poverty line was around 40% now if it has come down substantially do we really need it it's a question that has to be responded by all of us by taking a position secondly <coughs> idea of changing the business model of urban property bank continues to persist all these targets are on the on, on, on the lines with the small finance bank we the urban property banks have been consistently resisting that our model of 100 years old cannot be changed we are managing the local economy and within local economy if there is an insistence on a priority sector lending i believe that uh, the uh, very purpose of uh, growth Gets a subtraction. Numbers speak otherwise. Now, if you if you look at the uh, uh, March twenty two numbers, where uh, the sector was supposed to conclude somewhere around fifty percent of private sector lending norms, entire sector complied with. Now, with the numbers like this, it is difficult for any of the representative body to make a proper representation because the sector is performing. Sector is delivering delivering to the numbers. Even in respect of sixty percent private sector, many banks have achieved it. The route of achievement could be different. It could be by way of buying out PSL certificates, or it could be by way of investing in the specified bonds or investments which Reserve Bank of India wants you to do. 
what is important is why uh, there is a continuous insistence on a priority sector lending norm. It needs a serious visit if at all the urban cooperative banks are required to really move in the direction where in the, the overall economic growth, their contribution to the uh, Indian economy becomes robust. And third, most important, most critical and most debatable is the <clears throat> framework of for compromise settlements and technical write-offs. The first objection which I believe is this, or first observation I would say rather than objection. There was one 2019 circular which was not applicable to urban cooperative banks. Suddenly, in two or three areas, this circular makes a reference to 2019 guidelines. Remember, stress assets framework or all other things were not applicable to the urban cooperative banks, either two. They have suddenly become applicable. And I always wonder, I always wonder two things. One is the superiority of BR Act or superiority of Reserve Bank of India Act. Kindly note the couple of sections which the Reserve Bank of India has invoked in this particular circular. Just read these sections. The sections are section 21 and section 35A of uh, Banking Regul Regulation Act along with section 56. Chapter 3B of Reserve Bank of India Act 1934, Section 30A, 32, 33 of National Housing Act. That's very interesting to note. Most of these sections tell you the idea about the powers of Reserve Bank of India to control the advances of a banking company. <coughs> this would mean that why these sections are being invoked? These are being invoked simply because the other sections are also equally applicable. My, my question therefore, I am still uh, trying to find the answer. Whether this circular grants exemption to the process on the respective state laws act in respect of right of, you call it prudential, technical or whatever, that hitch remains. And therefore, in order to respond with a careful study, I would like to uh, present my views on next Sunday on this particular topic. I hope that uh, mm, uh, now the Reserve Bank of India is taking uh, bold steps in order to ensure that the sector really grows, sector really grows. Post expert committee report, these are a couple of things which have come true now. Uh, I thank Reserve Bank of India for whatever they have been done, but then this would not have been possible had the Ministry of Cooperation and the NAFCAP or the federations would have taken up the issues with the Reserve Bank of India in same voice, in same sense. I believe that the time of uh, turning around for urban cooperative banks is here. I hope that uh, you make most use of uh, the two circulars which I have discussed. As far as the third circular about the framework of compromise settlement and technical write-off, we will speak on next Sunday because I am expecting a couple of views on this particular story. There is still a confusion as to what is to be done. I will try to answer a couple of confusion. I am expecting some questions. I have already got a couple of questions and that has forced me to postpone my comment on that particular circular. So, keep watching this channel. You will get few more ideas next Sunday. Thank you for watching. Please like it, share it, subscribe, inform all your friends. Sabhi dosto ko bataiyega, sawal poochiyega. Koi bhi parishan hiyo, sawal poochiyega. Mera mail uh, description mein rehta hai. Please do that. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.